Hello, my bump, bruised, and blessed family. I have a great topic today. I can't believe it's taken me so long to address this one, but nonetheless, getting into it. Um, for my current subscribers, thank you for being here with me on this roller coaster of a ride. We're all in this together healing, overcoming narcissistic abuse. And for anyone new here, welcome. My name is Michelle. I unfortunately experienced the agonizing upbringing with a narcissistic mother and enabling henchman father, a golden boy, flying monkey, older brother, and me, the black sheep scapegoat, tried and true. I went no contact. Uh, August 2019, so it's been like three years now. Onward and upward, grateful for every moment, living my best life, and that's why I established this community, because I find that there's nothing more healing than validation and support from fellow victims. So I'm grateful for you being here, and thank you for joining us. Welcome to the family. Um, all right, today, you guys, I'm talking about the imposter syndrome. I cannot believe it has taken me so long to talk about this because undoubtedly we're all, if not, all right, most of us, if not all of us have been impacted by this. As a child raised in a dysfunctional, narcissistic family, you know, a dysfunctional unit, as I like to say, we were just cut down from every angle, you know, just mentally, psychologically, just leveled. The people that are supposed to be building us up, loving us unconditionally and supporting us, we're doing the exact opposite. So these people destroyed any self-perception we might have scraped together. We have terrible self-esteem, low confidence, all of that. So it's natural that we suffer from the imposter syndrome. What that is, is we do not take credit for our accomplishments and achievements. So maybe you're, you earn degrees, maybe you're doing well in your job, your profession, and well in life in general, and you make excuses for it. Like you'll say, oh, I stepped in it. Or, you know, uh, um, dumb luck. Or I was in the right place at the right time. No, man. Like, you did it. You accomplished these things. You achieved these things. If you were the black sheep or the scapegoat, like myself... You were taught to believe that you're like the root of all evil, right? All problems can be rooted back to you. It's never the dysfunctional unit. It's you. Narcissists love projection, right? So throughout my upbringing, it was like um, everyone was walking on eggshells around the narcissistic mother, the tyrant of the home, right? So everything revolved around her. So by default, you know, you're you're just pushed into the background and everything that she has an issue with is somehow related back to us. Imposter syndrome is so apropos for us because it's like all the good things you're doing in life, all of your accomplishments are just, it's I, it's so like foreign. It's like, I don't deserve this. That's another element to it. But one of the big, like a uh, trauma response is perfectionism, people pleasing, over excelling. You know, um, that was me for sure. You know, I always was an overachiever in school and sports and everything I could do well and independent of my home life. So when you're, when that is your trauma response, right? Like fight, flight, freeze, fawn, 
But perfectionism is just the the need to please people, you know, your incorrigible oppressor, basically, in the narcissistic parent. So you're going above and beyond, undoubtedly, all the time. You're trying to, as a child, it is our inherent desire to please our parents. And when you're born into a narcissistic unit, it's it's a losing battle. You know, you'll never win. You can be the president of the United States and they couldn't care less. You know, it's they'll take credit for it. Don't get me wrong. They'll take credit for all of your achievements, but it's not your doing. You know, it's because of them. They made you who you are. When in reality, you guys, like we're here, right? We're healing. We're doing the work. That has nothing to do with them, right? So you have integrity. You have the drive to do better, to be better, and to separate yourself from this toxicity, from the negativity. So rest assured, all of your triumphs and victories are yours. They are not rooted in anything other than your strength and your integrity. So start taking ownership of that. That's one of the most integral pieces of healing as well. You know, I have learned like three years into this. I love it, thankfully. But it's like, I am finally, like, breathing easy is kind of how I would describe it, I guess. It's like I can finally appreciate my happiness. I can finally stop dodging bullets and defending myself against nonsense and I'm enjoying my life, my amazing life and my amazing true family, my husband and our children and our chosen family, our beautiful friends that we love and that are a part of our life. So imposter syndrome is just it's basically like, you know how you have the inner critic instilled within you by these monsters? The imposter syndrome is like that inner critic just coming down on you. It's just another layer to it. It's, it's all relate. It's all relative. So don't do that to yourself. Don't cut down your achievements. Start actually taking credit for the things that you have achieved. The, the good things that you have done in your life and your successes. I was actually just talking to a friend about the imposter syndrome having that. Um, we both do. And he was saying, it's the weirdest thing to be with a partner or a friend, anyone, you know. But my husband is doesn't have that, doesn't have the imposter syndrome. And it's so weird. It's so like, you know, like my friend was saying, like he is with a, a partner that's like, yeah, I'm I'm going to set my mind to this and I'm going to do it. And, you know, like I will be successful. And he's like, wow, like I never feel that way. I always feel like I'm a piece of crap and I can't do anything. You know, we, we're always cutting ourselves down. So it's, it's great to be around someone, a partner that is actually health, has a healthy, you know, self-perception and confidence and the ability to take credit for the great things that you do and that you have done. It's, it's cool. And of course, like, I am so proud of Joe. I'm so proud of my husband and everything that he has achieved and continues to achieve and the amazing man that he is. Um, so I need to like be easier on myself, right? Like we all need to do that. Be easier on yourself. Stop cutting yourself down. Shut that inner critic up and don't do the, Don't suffer from the imposter syndrome anymore. We have above and beyond earned where we are in life and you deserve it. I'm sorry, I'm like gonna hiccup and fighting it. 
Anyway, um, so thank you for being here with me on this journey, as I was saying. Uh, please like, subscribe, share with anyone you think that this would apply to. Please hit the notification bell so you know when I put new stuff out. For anyone new, I do try to put a new video out every Sunday. And if you subscribe, or excuse me, if you hit the, well, definitely subscribe. But if you hit the bell, it will notify you when I put out new stuff. And I've been trying to put out shorts and posts and things like that during the week. So be in the loop. Um, what else? I have a lot of links below. So check out my Amazon store. I have merch. I also have all the recommendations that I speak of in regard to overcoming narcissistic abuse. You know, the books that I referred to and that I'm grateful for. So I have all that up there. So I have a separate Amazon link, but I also have like, again, my merch is in the Amazon store, but I also have another store um, with more of better variety of stuff. Amazon is more apparel, um, a pillow and a tote bag too. I have a code for Semaine if you're interested in that. The um, lady business stuff. Um, that's it. All right, I love you guys. Thank you for being here.